So, most of you know that I'm shifting my focus from indie dev to 3D character design. It's what I realized I enjoyed the most and would like to build a professional career for. And this path has inevitably brought me into the territory of ZBrush. To put it simply, it is virtually impossible to qualify for any AAA level character modeling job without experience in ZBrush. Trust me, I've looked and looked, and there really is just no way around it. Because mastering this software was non-negotiable, I began my journey in ZBrush about a year ago. And on this journey, I have realized three very very important things. One, the ZBrush community is much smaller and not quite as robust and active as our community here in Blender. Two, there are almost no dedicated tutorials in ZBrush designed to specifically cater towards new users coming from Blender. And three, I am not alone here. There's actually quite a number of us Blender users that are lost here in ZBrush and just trying to figure out where to start. Some of us are students at university, some of us are striving professionals, and some of us just got new jobs and are struggling to get used to the company software. Regardless of how we got here, the point is, we're all here, screaming in turmoil together, questioning our life choices. So here's my plan. Instead of us all being lost and wasting our time separately, I'm gonna pump out and share everything I've learned about ZBrush right here on the channel completely free. No secret paid courses, and no bloated, confusing explanations. And let's be honest, most of the tutorials in ZBrush aren't really short and concise the way we've learned to make things here in Blender. There is absolutely no reason why new Blender users have to waste their time figuring out basic shit in ZBrush that could have been explained in 30 seconds. So that is what I'll be covering over the next two months. And afterwards, we'll be moving on to the fun stuff in our new home of Unreal. Something real quick I would like to say is I do believe that this series will be extremely valuable even to those of you who work exclusively in Blender. In fact, I think if we as a community want Blender to start catching up to ZBrush, it's imperative that we understand how it works and why it works. So even if you never plan to use ZBrush, I think there's a lot to gain from just observing the differences between the two software. At a minimum, if anyone ever asks you what the real difference between sculpting in Blender and sculpting in ZBrush is, you will know exactly what you're talking about and how to explain it clearly with these videos. So that's the plan. We're gonna save hundreds of hours for thousands of people. Hope you look forward to it, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.